Hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today we finally got a notice about the new update. I'm very excited to see this. However, it's not the update I was looking for, but let's go. Let's cover it anyways. So this is the 1.1.19 update notice, and the changes are you'll be able to select a hero for the Kingdom Pass, and you will be able to also purchase double speed with rubies. Now, a lot of people have been concerned, does this mean the advertising option is going away? And I don't believe it is. That's the, the key word there is also, so I think they're just adding an option where if you haven't purchased the ad-free version, you can either watch an advertisement or pay some rubies to get the double speed. And we're getting the update within three days. So it looks like the focus has been on the translation, and not uh, that's what they say next. The translation is... That and the new, new content. Now, even though translation doesn't give us new game content, it's actually really good that they get this game translated into more languages because the more of us playing this game, the more successful the game becomes and the more incentive the developers have to invest more time in the game. So, unfortunately, this is not the update I wanted to see, but at least we've got some update feedback. I'm hoping they're getting closer to Mythic Heroes. Like, the longer it's taking them to give us Mythic Heroes... That just keeps telling me that they're adding more than just turning on the Mythic Archer gear and turning on Mythic Heroes. That to me is telling me that they're probably going to revamp some part of the game, which probably means, again, I'll go over what I would expect from a Mythic update. Mythic Heroes. Mythic Archer gear. Uh, 20 more event levels for the event dungeon. So 20 more of the... Um, Goldmine, um, Spectre's Ruins, and the, what was the third one? The Hill of Heroes. And additionally, I would expect 10 more levels of Expedition, and 20 more levels of each of the portals. So I expect they're kind of working that out. Now granted, there shouldn't be too much to work out. It's more like you generate it, and it spits out the formula. Um, but I don't know, I'm assuming that's what the holdup is. So, that said, that's uh, that's where we're at today. I, and I also feel like they released Mythic Hero Gear earlier because, number one, the people who are going to be eligible to get Mythic Hero Gear are so far advanced in the game, it's not going to matter. The real catch-up for people like me that are struggling in the 9,000s is going to be basically to get the Mythic Archer Gear. That's going to be the big boost. And then, of course, Mythic Heroes. But none of that's ready, so... Mythic Gear is just a carrot to kind of keep us going. That's really, by the time you get to it, it's really not going to change the game too much. That's that's the takeaway that I've gotten. So, again, you know, please let me know what you think in the comments. If you agree with my assessment, if you disagree, you know, just, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll respond to you. You know, we're playing this game together and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. So once again, thank you for watching. Just wanted to get a quick video about 1.1.19, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to please like and subscribe to support the channel as well. That's what keeps me motivated to keep making these videos for you. So thank you again. I hope you have a great day.